Hey YouTubers, Blink DIY here again. Just uh, working on the old Camaro. Decided it's time to upgrade the brakes. Oh, with the old and with the new. So there's the old master cylinder and a proportioning valve. So everything's out of there. The lines are ready to be fabricated to fit with the new system. Just thought I'd show you an idea or show you the right way to set up your brakes this is a Willwood master cylinder and proportioning valve kit um, the kit itself was 261-13269 the BK stands for black I opted for the black painted option uh, what comes in the kit is a master cylinder it's a one inch bore uh, 260-555 and again BK stands for black comes with a proportioning valve and bracket <clears throat> that proportioning valve is 260-13190 comes with everything to install it this I purchased separately I got rear drum brakes still on this thing so uh, need a residual pressure valve they recommend 10, pre 10 pounds of pressure to kind of helps overcome the the spring pressure in the drum brakes so first things first you got to get your old master cylinder off um, I happen to have power brakes so in that hole we'll go with supplies a push rod extension is what I would call it I guess but anyways that goes inside there that's your starting point so to get the push rod length right you want approximately very close to 20 thousandths point zero two zero of an inch clearance between between that push rod and your like when your brake pedal uh, releases so the way to do that is to use one of these tools so what you do is push this all the way down Put it in that where the pin's gonna go or where your push rod's gonna go. Sorry, I'm getting blurry here. Press that down until it touches the the housing or the mounting plate of the master cylinder. So that's that side. So now you take the other side, this end here, and that's where you measure your push rod. So the push rod I'm talking about is the one that comes through your brake booster right here and that's in aftermarket uh, boosters they are adjustable which I've already adjusted it to save the time on the video I'm just going to prop my camera up here hopefully you can see what I'm doing so now once again we're going to take this end of that tool set it up into there make sure it touches the the housing of the booster and you take feeler gauge see if I can get that to focus there's 20 thousandths of an inch sorry it's not focusing very good but 0 0.020 of an inch so these angled ones work better so you can actually get into there because you're actually going in behind the housing so make sure you line up that pin and slide this in there now as you can see it just it's snug in there see what I'm doing so it's snug in there that's what you want for clearance that way it gives you enough uh, enough pedal free play to make sure you're not hanging up on your brakes so when you release the brake the master cylinder is actually releasing hundred percent of the pressure and that's how it's done hit like and subscribe thanks bye